Welcome to day nine of my 12 days of Christmas and the show for today is The Hundred um, and this is kind of similar to day one with Doctor Who I've kind of got two separate elements to make up this video first of all it's going to be a short little reaction um, and then we're going to move into something else and another really stupid idea I had um, so yeah um, when I was kind of thinking of ideas for what I wanted to do for The Hundred um, I know I wanted to do some kind of like fan vid reaction to it, um, at least for part of it, because I haven't really done one of those before for the hundred. Um, and so, um, I was kind of thinking, well, what kind of thing should I go for here? You know, I can't really do like a general kind of um, tribute to the show or anything because there might be spoilers um, for like stuff I haven't seen yet. You know, I couldn't do like oh a Clark Griffin tribute or whatever. Um, because they probably include stuff from the rest of season 5 and season 6 that I haven't seen yet. Um, so it's like, it probably needs to be maybe a tribute to a character or a tribute to the earlier seasons. Um, you know, something that's no longer part of the show now. And of course, I then turn my thoughts to Jasper, uh, my absolute favourite character. If you've watched my reactions, you are aware of that. Um, his whole story just broke my heart and I thought it was just so beautifully done, so beautifully acted by Devon as well. Um, and it's just a character that, and a journey that means so, so much to me. Um, and I think he'll forever be my favourite, really. Um, and I'm still so sad that it ended that way, but it was kind of inevitable that Jasper's story was going to end like that. Um, and there were quite a few um, little tribute videos that looked really, really cool um, from like the thumbnail and titles and stuff. But I picked this one. It's by Lexia. Um, I mean, it's called cool. Jasper Jordan, Earth is Really Beautiful, which is obviously kind of linking to one of his last lines in the show, um, in the other side, when he said, you know, for all its faults, Earth really is beautiful. Um, and I really liked that line a lot because it was kind of, yeah, that final moment of hope. Um, and I think he was, like, passing that on to Monty as well because he wanted Monty to, like, allow himself to have that last moment with Jasper um, so he wouldn't regret anything about their final encounter. Um, he just wanted his best friend to kind of have that no regrets going forward and I really really loved that um, and yeah I just saw that and the title and I thought okay let's give this one a go um, so I don't know quite know what to expect um, but I'm really really intrigued to check out a video about Jasper and hopefully see you know loads of love for him because I know a lot of people went off a bit in season three um, but I think that's a tragedy of the character because that's where his story went and anyone who's going through like depression like that um, and all these kind of you know some terrible mental health problems really um, a lot of people in real life will kind of turn away to them and be like oh no you know I can't deal with that um, and unless you've gone through those things yourself I don't think you could ever really actually understand it um, not in the way you, you might think you understand it, but you, you just don't unless you've gone through it yourself. Um, and I think that's why I just really, really love Jasper's journey and why I've always kind of sympathised with him, even if people found him a bit annoying and a bit of a drag or whatever. I'm in the later seasons. Um, whereas for me, I think it's just a very real story and heartbreaking in that sense. And any character who kind of had gone through that journey and they chose to go through that with on the show I think people would have had kind of the same reaction to it because um, you know sometimes you hate on what you don't understand and maybe it's not purposeful people doing that to Jasper um, but I think there is kind of an element to that in some cases um, but it's such a sad story of Jasper being like broken down um, by the world and he just wasn't meant to survive on Earth, really, um, because of everything that happened throughout, mainly season two, obviously, um, losing Myra and everything just broken beyond repair. Um, and it's just so, so tragic, and I think it's one of the most impactful stories the show's had, um, for me personally, so I knew I wanted to do a tribute to Jasper as part of this little video for the hundred. Um, very Christmassy. Merry Christmas, everyone. Um, but yeah, that's check out this short little video. You know, we used to sit back and watch the sky playing um, on which planet would you rather? The answer is always Earth. The clock 
is ticking, Aww. and it has been since we landed on this terrible, beautiful planet. We are safe here. We're safe. You always forget how long his hair used to be. Should I not have done that? What's wrong? I'm nothing. Jasper! Oh, when I thought it killed him in the pilot, I was so angry. Everything's okay. Everything's okay. Everything's okay. We're not okay. Just follow the plane, we'll be okay. I promised you. I promise. Set the record on risk. I think I might be cursed. I miss my best friend. I love Jasper and Octavia as well. Oh, I that day too. Jasper and Monty. Best friendship. Maybe you didn't see how those people died. Oh, I saw. I'm just not afraid of it happening to me. None of us is innocent. For all its faults. Earth is really beautiful. The space sucked. <laughs> it's okay to be afraid, Jasper. The trick is not fighting it. I loved him like being sort of a lead in season two. And you can wipe out an entire civilization. Yet I'm the one that can't sleep at night. Oh man. If you ever see Monty read that, I'm just going to be like, look. Down here and see if the ground is surviving here. From what I've seen, it's not. Mm, not for you, buddy. What did you do? Did you hear me? Just come on. Who say? Say you love me. Don't do this to me. So I think that's a very selfless act to do, like giving Monty that. On the other side. Oh. Oh man. I love that his last episode was called The Other Side as well. Um, but yeah, I love that. I'll just turn that around. You know, I think a lot of people say suicide's kind of selfish, and I think that's, you know, so beyond wrong. Um, because again, I think it's another thing, unless you've like been there, you've been to that dark place, I don't think you could ever really truly understand it. Um, even how hard you try, and that's no one's fault, you know, if they, thank God that they haven't been to a place that dark, you know, um, but I love that even that, his last moments, when he kind of committed suicide, um, he still was selfless in wanting to give Monty peace of mind going forward, and he didn't want him to have that regret of saying, you know, I'll never forgive you for doing this, blah, 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 you know, he's like, just tell me you love me and stuff like that. Um, just that really nice final moment between two best friends. Um, and the fact that Monty's still kind of bringing Jasper up, um, even like five, six years later, um, by the time season five started, I just think it's so, so, um, wholesome and beautiful in many ways. Uh, I just, I loved their kind of friendship, um, and how they kind of built it back up again a bit before the end. I think that was very nice. Um, but Jasper's just such a fantastic character um, for me. Uh, his whole journey was just so tragic and heartbreaking, but that's what made it, I think, incredibly poignant um, and so impactful. Um, you know, he, it really got to me on many, many occasions, and it was inevitable almost, but still, you know, so sad that we saw this boy, like, so excited to be on Earth, full of life, those ridiculous goggles on that I absolutely love. Um, and we just saw the world breaking, um, beyond repair. I think, you know, it's, it's a sad story, but I think it can be beautiful at the same time. And that was a really, really well done video. Um, I liked all that, the cuts to, like, when he was in the pilot, stuff like that. And, you know, it was, like, really bright, kind of filters and stuff on the footage and then we cut to the later stuff where he had like they put like a darker filter over um all of that when he's kind of in that dark place i really liked how that was done and especially that final little cut to um jasper when he's about to swing from you know one side to the other with the pilot um see on the other side and kind of said a similar thing in his final scene as well and then it, it cut to him um 
I really liked that, and you know, I like how they also highlighted how many times Jasper did say the Earth was beautiful, um, because I think you can appreciate something but hate it at the same time. And I felt like that was Jasper's kind of relationship with Earth um, and being on Earth. Because um, I think he probably still remembered the days when he first landed on Earth and how excited he was and how overwhelmed he was by it all and how, you know, just how excited um, he was to finally be on Earth and away from space. Um, and it ended up being just horrendous for him, really. And like he was saying to Maya in that clip, you know, oh, space sucked. Um, and he ended up having an even worse time on Earth, which is just so beyond sad. Um, but it's just such a beautiful character arc, so well acted for me. Um, I think Jasper will always be my favourite, and just such an impactful character for me. Um, a beautiful, awful story at the same time. Um, you know, it's my relationship with Jasper's story arc is the same as Jasper's relationship with Earth, you know. He hated most of his time on it, and most of his experience of it. But at the same time, you know, he really appreciated it. You know, it's not an enjoyable storyline to watch by any means, uh, but it's so well done and so beautiful for me. Um, so yeah, that was such a well done video. I really loved that. I, I wish I could have the talent to do those kind of videos. I'm just, I'm not that good. <laughs> um, but yeah, that was so, so well done. Um, and now we move on to the second half of the video, which is going to be more like Hyde, hopefully. Um, because, you know, Christmas, this probably should be a bit jollier, but that's kind of, you need to have that kind of mood when you're talking about Jasper, unfortunately. But yeah, moving on to another ridiculous idea I had, just like day seven, I had a really stupid idea. Um, it happened again, only two days later, here we are. Um, and basically I thought, screw it, I'm tired of waiting for Belloc to happen, I'm tired of waiting for them to get their acts together. You know, I don't know what happens in the rest of season five and six, but I'm fed up and I just need Belloc in my life. So I'm going to make it happen the only way I can. In The Sims 4. So here we are. Um, I'm going to see, just in case, if there is like a Belloc thing that people have made. Oh, wow, this is looking good. Oh, wow, that was great. Um, because I'm not very good at like making Sims that are supposed to like, look like actual people or characters. I'm just terrible at that. Um, so luckily, people have kind of uploaded their own stuff to the gallery, which is cool. Um, so here we have, like, Belloc and also... Is it Linktavia? Is that their ship name? Octavia and Lincoln? I can't really remember. Um, that's pretty cool. So lots of people have kind of uploaded their Belloc to the gallery. Um, that one's great. Look at Bellamy, that, that looks so much like him. Best couple from the holly, um, from the hundred. That's funny. Um, that looks so good. Clark's pretty good as well. But I think the likeness on Bellamy there to um, Bob Morley is so good. Um, so this is by Carlotta SG1999, and um, I think I'm going to use this one. So I'm going to probably like download um, uh, these Sims that they've made, um, put them into a lot, and then we're going to make them end game. God damn it! Cause it's been too long. Uh, how stupid is this idea, but I love it anyway. So yeah, I think I'm going to do that. So let's get them set up in um, their own lot. So I'm just going to load them in now uh, to, into like their own household. Um, and it says here, like, it doesn't. I don't actually own one of the packs that they've used some items from. So I might need to edit their outfits a little bit when we get in here. Because um, they're not going to have exactly the same stuff that I have. Because I don't have all the packs downloaded that they've taken clothes from. But that's fine. We can change it a bit. Um, so just merge this household, um, and then get rid of this random guy. Sorry pal, I... You're dead. Uh, so here we have Bellamy. Um, so let's see what his traits they've given him. So he's like a, got a bodybuilder aspiration, and therefore high metabolism. He's self-assured, loves the outdoors, and is romantic. So that's Bellamy, and then Clark. Oh! <laughs> we do not have any of Clark's everyday outfit. So, we we'll definitely need to change that, but quickly, um, she's got the friend of the world aspiration, so she's gregarious, um, or gregarious even, and she's good, creative, and also loves the outdoors, so they have something in common that, um, so, while we're here, we might as well get Clark's outfit sorted, so obviously, they probably used clothes from the, I think it's like a laundry pack or something, 
Um, and I don't have that pack downloaded, so therefore I can't get the same clothes. Um, so we need to find like a new-ish outfit for her. Um, maybe something like this would do. Um, and then... Clark doesn't normally wear like dresses or skirts or anything really, does she? So let's find some suitable trousers for her. Um, I mean, that's not bad. I feel like All Black's kind of a go-to for characters in the 100, to be honest. Um, no, probably not that. That's okay. That seems like something Clark could wear, actually. I mean, I'm not like an expert by any means, but... I think I am just going to go for something like that for her trousers, and then... Shoes. I Mr. Mean, Hundred, you know, they're going to need something they could probably run in. Um, so some kind of boots or something. Maybe something like that. Maybe in black. That would do. Obviously, we're not going to be spending like a load of time on their clothes or anything. But um, so you want to get to what we're actually here to do. But yeah, I think that would do for now. But I did really like the look they gave her for um, when they had all the packs included when I initially downloaded them. Uh, so that's the formal wear she's been given. Athletic, we seem to have everything for that as well. Uh, nightwear, I'm sure that's fine. Um, and that's her party outfit. That's swimwear, that's her hot weather outfit. She's even got a lot of like, eye makeup on there. I feel like we've seen her in that similar kind of look before, so that's pretty cool. Then that's her um, cold weather outfit. So it was just the everyday stuff we didn't actually have from the pack, so that's cool that we've replaced that. And then with Bellamy, this is his like everyday thing. I feel like he has literally worn that, that kind of combo jacket and shirt before. So that's really cool that that's kind of in the game. And then they've given him quite these like baggy trousers as well, which I'm not actually the biggest fan of. But they are very accurate. Let's see if we can find something. Oh yeah, I prefer that. I think that's a bit more streamlined. And then I think everything else we can just keep. Cause it, like, I think that looks really good. It's even got like freckles and everything on. I didn't even notice that until I zoomed in. That's a nice bit of detail. So I think Bob Morley does have freckles, doesn't he? That's really cool. Okay, so that's his uh, former outfit. Isn't that... I swear that's what Bob wore to their wedding. I think it's the same colour shirt. That's a cool bit of detail if it is. Um, okay, I think that's just his boxers. So clearly we don't have whatever they used for his bottoms in his workout outfit. So we'll just give him that. Uh, sleepwear, that's fine. Party, that's fine too. Swimwear, that's fine. Uh, hot weather outfit, it's fine. Cold weather outfit, also fine. Oh, they've given him those trousers for his cold weather outfit, the same from the everyday. <laughs> so his everyday and cold weather outfits are exactly the same. Um, so we might change that up a bit. I don't know what to though. He's only it to be exactly the same. Um, Let's just give him those in black, shall we? Okay, so that's his cold weather outfit. Um, so that's these two done. And we have Bellamy and Clark. So now we need to move them into a house, and then the end game will begin. Let's just call it the Bellark household. This is the ultimate shipper in me coming out, isn't it? These aren't glasses, these are shipper goggles. That's my secret. Okay, so we're moving them into a house, and I think it's called Brightchester, Brightchester, something like that. It's one of the new villages you've got with the um, university expansion. Um, so we're moving them into here, furnished of course, and they have just over three grand um, remaining if we move them in. So, that is their new home, Bellark. Uh, so they are living... I don't know if we can get... There we go, Honeydew Fields, that's the house they're living in, in Brightchester. So, let's go. <gasps> As if it's made it love day on the day they've moved in. So we see if we can get them together on love day. That might be quite hilarious. Okay, so they know each other a bit because obviously they're like roommates. So um, let's just discuss your interests. Let's get, see, let's have them get to know each other. They both love the outdoors. They can bond over that. Um, and then they will fall in love. Because, you know, at this point in the show that I've got to, they're very, very close. Even though they haven't seen each other in six years. But you know what I mean. Oh, Bellamy's learnt that Clark is single. Girl. Well, that's good then, isn't it? Let's get to know. Throw Love Day Confetti, why not? And then let's switch to Clark and do a few interactions as her. Oh, 
Share the day spirit. Boom. I do really hope we get Belloc eventually in the show. I'd be really sad if we don't. Because I've been reading the books. Someone sent me the books very kindly a while ago. Uh, I'm still working my way through them. Um, but they get together so quickly in the books. Like, by the end of book one, they're basically a thing. It's kind of insane that already, like, I'm only at season five and they're still not together. It's kind of nuts. So I don't know if the show will ever go in that direction. So if this is the only way I can see Belloc together, I'm taking it. Let's gossip. Gossip about how the world's always ending. Let's have a little flirt, shall we? Let's, let's you know, level this up a bit. Let's see how this goes. Oh. Okay, Clark's liking it. That's good. Very good. I must say, their friendship is kind of soaring up. I mean, Clark's currently singing, which isn't ideal. Um, but they're already like over halfway through their friendship bar. Like, it's very rare that I have Sims get along this quickly, I must say. It's like it's meant to be. They've just become good friends. Soon, they'll be more than just good friends. Look at this flirtation. It's happening, guys. Finally, this is what I've wanted to see for so long, over a year. It is kind of crazy to think that, you know, um, the show's going to be ending that next year. It's kind of weird. I mean, I've been reacting to it for over a year at this point. Um, it's still kind of nuts. Let's try compliment appearance, shall we? See how that goes. No, don't read a book. Compliment her appearance, God damn it! Oh, they've got a bit of romance now. The romance bar has started. Here we go. Here we go. Tell each other how much you need each other. And that you always trust each other and have like a really deep meaningful conversation like by a tree like in um is it day trip or something the episode was called oh they're both being very flirty now compliment appearance flirt like i'm not even making them do all these now this is just happening we have the option for a first kiss already i'm taking it doing the first kiss here we go guys it's the moment we've all been waiting for Belloc. Yes, the power of Belloc, it's happening. So let's see what their whims are. She wants to get to know Belly, me, and be friendly with him. He wants to make out with her and embrace her. Well, those sound more romantic, so we're doing those. There we go. Things are getting steamy now, folks. I normally have such a hard time getting people together and getting them romantic, but this has been so annoyingly easy. Like, I wish it always happened this quickly. It's giving her a rose. She seems pleased with it, so that's good. Wow. Whoa, Jesus, I didn't even tell you to do that. I'm supposed to be friendly. Okay, anything else either you want to do to each other? <laughs> Get to know, that's a bit more wholesome. So let's do that. So they both have a deep connection with one another, which is very, very wholesome. It's an option for sexy pose. I want to see what this is all about. Oh boy. Very sexy. Say... Just over 75% on their friendship, and then they're nearly halfway there on the romance, so we're doing very, very well here. Attempt to seduce, shall we see what this is? Oh wow. I better see this in the coming months, guys. This is the material I want. I'm talking to you, 100 writers. Let's compliment its appearance, anything else we can do. I don't want them to woohoo until they're in a relationship. I think that would be what Belloc would do. They would probably wait until it was all official. Um, so hopefully that option will come up soon. My God, he's got a wedding ring in mind. Jesus. I mean, we're going to get there. We'll get there. Ah, there we go. Ask to be girlfriend's an option. Let's do that. Hopefully she says yes. Otherwise, this is going to be very awkward. There we go. We all want to see it. Well, I think a lot of 100 fans want to see it. I know not everyone likes Belloc, and that's absolutely fine. Um, I imagine if you don't like Belloc, you've probably already stopped watching this video and sending hate. But that's fine. You know, you do you. I know some people like Belloc and Echo. I haven't really seen the relationship yet, so I don't know where it's going to go. We'll see. Um, but I think my heart will always belong to these two. But at least in The Sims, they are officially boyfriend and girlfriend. So I think it's time to go to the next level. I haven't really looked at their house really, and it's probably, like, I think it's one of the cheaper houses in this lot. I haven't really been here before. Um, but yeah, that's that. 
There isn't a double bed here. Well, this just won't do. This will not do at all. There we go. Now we've got a double bed, so now things can really get started. And I know there is, in one of the more recent updates to um, the game, there is now a woohoo and shower option, so we are absolutely doing that. I think things are heating up. There we go. This is it, guys. This is the moment we all wanted. Oh, yes. That's the sweet stuff. Now, it's also extremely awkward to be watching this, so let's just let them enjoy. Yeah, there we go. Click on the shower, there are woohoo options now, which is hilarious. They're still both very flirty. So, let's sort that out, shall we? I haven't actually done this animation yet. I've been waiting to use it in a video. So I'm looking forward to seeing what this is all about. I don't know if it's just going to be a bit boring or not, but let's see how this goes. Oh, Jesus, okay. Full on animation. You're going to break that door, guys. Clark is good. Well, she's clearly good at something. Look at them. Jeez. Oh, and she instantly wants to chat to Bellamy. Better than nothing. See, look at this Bellark adorableness. I would love to see them together in this show, especially because they're together in real life. I think that would be extra wholesome. Just knowing, like, this affection could be genuine. In Sims, like, a day is only about nine months, so they've known each other for a long time. They've been in a relationship for a long time. I think it's time they propose, don't you? So yes, you're in your underwear. <laughs> this is a grand moment. Bellamy's proposing. And she says yes. Thank God. Yes! Ladies and gentlemen, it's happening. Belak is canon. I mean, it is in the books anyway, so it's not like I'm doing anything too out of the blue. Um, even if we never see it in the show, enjoy every single moment here. They just got engaged. Excellent. Let's get them into their former outfits, and they're going to elope, goddammit, because we've waited too long for this day. So let's get you into your former outfit. Let's get you... Not into change it to nude, I don't think so. Um, I mean, it is a black dress as opposed to like a wedding dress or anything, but that's fine. And I think what we're actually going to do, we're going to travel somewhere to get married. So look at this. Yes, I think this is where, if you've watched my main min, um, Sim series that I'm doing, I think this is where Jay and Alfonso got married. Uh, so look at all these lights and these lanterns, a piano, and there is a big wedding arch kind of thing there with some fireworks behind it. So I think they can get married here. Get married to Bellamy. Yes! So I think actually we're going to give Clark like a proper like wedding dress. Um, and then Belloc, finally! Just like the season 7 finale, I'm going to speak into existence. Um, they're going to get married. <laughs> Here's me just talking about season 7 when I haven't even finished season 5 yet, for God's sake. Oh, I think that looks good on you. Not that I'm like, even remotely fashionable, but still. Um, ah, oh, Clark's even got the little mole on her. That's really cool. The attention to detail on these has been so, so good. I'm very impressed. I wish I could, like, actually make Sims look like people. What the hell? That's actually a lot more accurate. That's the one Hader version of Clark's wedding look. Uh, covered in blood. Jesus, wow, okay. I think in previous Sims games, once you got two Sims married, I think the female did automatically take the man's name. I don't think that always happens in The Sims 4. And I think that's kind of... Why is in this situation? Because I don't know if Clark would change her name. She might hyphenate, but I don't think she'd ever get rid of Griffin. Um, so I think we'll just leave her as a Griffin, even though she's married to Bellamy. What should we be like the biggest clown in the world now when they've actually like killed one of them off? And I don't know. I mean, if one of them is dead or will die, then um, it's all the more reason to do this, isn't it? So there they are in their little wedding outfit. Let's get them hitched. Get married. Oh, what are they going to do? Blow a kiss. Wholesome. Get married to Bellamy Blake. Let's do this. Here we are. See, what of you? This would be a wonderful place to get married. We can even go um, first person with this. There we go. It's kind of terrifying. And from Bellamy's point of view, let's try that as well. And that's Bellamy's view. What a good-looking couple. 
And rings are on. Boom, and the fireworks. There we are. Finally. This is all I've ever wanted to see. And now they're going to go and watch the fireworks. From opposite ends. Look at this. Yes. Boom. So we've all wanted it. Fan service at its finest. And since we're here, you can woohoo in the observatory. <gasps> Should you try for baby in the observatory? Yes, you will. Because it's going to happen now. <laughs> you've known each other for a long time. You know, if you've been married for like two minutes, it's the perfect time to have a kid, right? It's happening anyway. Because their love is out of this world. So of course it's going to be in the observatory. It's not sounding very romantic. That was quite quick. Love day successful, I'll say. And if anyone comes for me on this video, just because they're my favourite couple, even though they're not even together on the 100, just because I want them to be together, I'm not hating on Bellamy and Echo. I'm not hating on Clark and Lexa. I think, you know, well, Clark and Lexa were good together. They were a good couple. I don't know about Bellamy and Echo yet. We'll have to wait and see. Um, but this is just a bit of fun. You know, let's not let anyone's feelings get hurt. I'm not bashing anything. Um, just thought I should note that while we're here. Um, so yeah, let's get them home and let's see if Clark is with child, shall we? Nice, happy, wholesome ending. Because with MCC I can skip the pregnancy and make her go into labour straight away. Um, which I'm sure a lot of women would want the option for, to be fair. Skip nine months ahead to just get that baby out. Um, let me just make your needs happy for a minute because you might be in for a bit of a shock very, very soon. So, toilet. Take a pregnancy test. You can prank the toilet, my goodness. Uh, let's do that. I mean, it's literally 3 a.m., which isn't ideal. Clark is expecting. It's gonna be a new addition to the household. So, excellent. Third ever woohoo, and you're with child. Congratulations, guys. Share big news. There we go. So in the space of a day, and on Valentine's Day, no less, or the Sims equivalent of it. They've met, they've fallen in love, they've woohooed, they got engaged, they got married, and they're going to have a baby all in the space of like 24 hours. Express fondness, wholesome. So now, he's very excited about hearing a new family member is coming. So, with the power of MC Command Center, MC Pregnancy, um, the bar, pregnancy phase, in labor. Congratulations, Clark. Shortest pregnancy ever. And now... He's going to start freaking out now. She's going to labour. <laughs> My favourite thing. Right, have baby at hospital. Let's go. Join. And Bellamy's coming. Well, Bellamy coming was the problem. So Clark is understandably feeling very uncomfortable. But talk about that wedding dress. That is holding together, considering she wasn't pregnant when she put it on this morning. There's our doctor. Right, anyway. Let's, before there's a queue forming, let's get ourselves checked in, shall we? Hectic day for these two, I think, to put it lightly. Right, here we go. Bellamy's here as well. How about you actually face your wife while well, this is happening? Yeah. Clark has learned that Kira's a medic intern. An intern? An intern is taking a baby out of us? Oh, good God. Well, let's hope you're very good at your job then, Kira. Bellamy's just freaking the hell out. Uh, see, this isn't the nicest looking machine. He's like, no, I can't deal, I can't deal with this. I'll just wait out here. <laughs> this is too disturbing. What a day, eh, guys? Okay, so Clark gave birth to a baby girl. Uh, so yeah, she's kept her last name as Griffin. Um, maybe since it's their joint kid, maybe they can have like a hyphenated name. Blake Griffin or Griffin Blake? Griffin Blake sounds better to me, but I might be wrong. Shayla, good eye, Shayla. Um, I don't really know. I don't really have a name in mind. Um, Tara, Caitlin, Nicole, Caitlin again. Luna. Oh no, Luna was a character in the hundred, wasn't she? And I wasn't a big fan. Let's not have that then. Gemma, Clementine, Sloane, oh. Sky, Sky Griffin Blake. Because they came from the sky. Sky crew. Sky crew Griffin Blake. 
Let's go with that. Sky. I like that name. I mean, I'm an Ace of Shield fan, of course I like the name Sky. There's baby Sky. Welcome to the world, Sky. And there we have it. Let's get this brand new family home. So there we go. So here they are, they're home now. Newlyweds, new parents. Um, wholesome content. So what we're going to do, because obviously they live happy ever after. I'm going to make sure that happens. Um, we're actually just going to skip past the baby bit where no one cares about and age them up. And then we're going to see what Belly Moon Kark's child could look like as she gets older. Boom! Sky aged up and she's going to be a charmer. Look at this family unit. Isn't this wholesome? They lived happily ever after. Look at him watching them so proudly. He's like, yeah, that's my wife and daughter. The happiest family ever. So just for fun. Oh, look at her little shoes. She's got that little, like, monster claw shoes. That's wholesome. Um, so she's got Bellamy's black hair. Um, and do they both have... Oh, I think she's got Bellamy's eyes as well. Bellamy has darker eyes. Clark has those beautiful blue eyes. Uh, but yeah, this is Sky Griffin Blake. Maybe one day. If this became canon, I would lose, well, my mind. But just for fun, I'm not going to make the changes permanent. Let's just age her up into a child. So this could be, you know, Bellark's kid as a child. And there's a teenager. And adult, well, young adult, I suppose. Um, it's kind of they actually look a lot like Octavia in a weird way. So that's the potential, but obviously they're still just a little toddler, and they've changed their hair a bit now. Let's give her that hair on that hair. Let's go for that hair, because I always like that hair on the toddlers. So that is, oh, we need to get her a trait back, don't we? Um, she was a charmer. Boom. Yeah. So that is what Sky could look like, Belloc's child grown up um, in the future. Um, but for now, they are a happy family, newly in love, newly married, um, newly moved in together, newly with child to raise. And what a child it's going to be, because it's the child of Belloc, best kid in the universe, if you ask me. Um, so yeah, I thought this would just be a fun, stupid little video to do, to finally make Belloc endgame and get them together. Because I've just, it's been too damn long. Uh, and this was the result. So, shout out to um, the person I quoted at the start of this video, well, at the start of this section, who made this Bellamy and Clark um, for doing an awesome job at making them look like the characters. Um, Bellark are together, they're happy, they're wholesome, and from their joyous, joyous love came this bundle of joy who, let's just ignore that. Strange expression. Um, Sky Griffin Blake. A happy family. This is how it should be. Look at them. I love them. Uh, so yeah, that's going to be it for this video. Better luck are finally together, and in my mind this is how it's going to go. Even if that's not actually how it's going to go. This is going to be my headcanon from now on, because I'm seriously unhealthy when it comes to my ships. Anyway, um, that's going to be it for this video of the uh, for my 12 Days of Christmas for the 100. Hope you liked it. Um, and yeah, I'm going to see you tomorrow for day 10.